everyone, James Mansfield here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys. So I have recently gotten into doing crafts and doll making and I decided I'm gonna incorporate that into my wig game. Yes! I went to Capital Wigs, a beauty shop that I grew up around, and I bought a wig head. Well, a decorative wig head, a mannequin head, and she has been through it. I got her for count it $7 on a discount. And she's already pretty painted, but you can see she's kind of roughed up and she's been through it through the years. So we're going to give this mannequin head a complete drag makeover. So stay tuned while we repaint a mannequin head and make her all drag and fabulous. <laughs> okay, let's get started. We're going to take some white paint and start gessoing down our mannequin head. Yes, yes, yes. Now this is a step you don't really have to do, but last time I did it, the paint kind of showed through underneath. So I like to put a protective layer of gesso there just to be like, you know, more professional about it. And we're just gonna keep painting that down until we have our head, head completely covered in white paint and let that dry. And then we'll go on to our next step. Okay, now that we let that dry, we're gonna take our skin tone color, which is color Apricot from Folk Art Paints. That's the new name they gave it. And we're gonna give her a nice Barbie dolly kind of tone. Yes, yes, yes. Paint that all over the head. And I usually do a couple layers of this. I usually do like two or three just to be sure. And be careful with it not to make it too streaky, especially in the front of the head because that's what everyone's going to see. The back of the head, you don't even have to paint like one of my wig heads. I actually didn't paint the back of it. <laughs> don't tell anyone that. That's our little secret, okay? Okay, so once our paint is dry, I sprayed it with a layer of Mr. Super Clear and I let that prime overnight. Yes. And I'm going to take our white paint when it's all nice and settled and we're going to start doing the insides of the eyes, painting that with a nice layer of white. And of course, I have to put lips on because I told you it bothers me when they don't have lips. So we're going to take some red paint and paint on some nice full lips. Since I primed it with Mr. Super Clear, the canvas is going to be perfect to use watercolor pencils on. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a light brown watercolor pencil and sketch out the shape of her eyebrows. And we're going to give them nice and arched eyebrows, like an evil villain, like the dragon lady and Terry and the pirates. I love those kind of eyebrows or vampire. And we're just gonna fill those in until we get a nice arched shape. And once those are drawn out the way we like them, we're gonna take a deeper pencil and shade those in to make them even more detailed and defined. I really should start doing this to my own eyebrows. <laughs> Darken them in, draw little hairs, make them look nice and defined. All right, now comes time for my favorite part. We're gonna do the eyeliner. Taking some black paint, I'm going to go right on that eyelid and do a nice solid pinup girl kind of eyeliner. Very thick and very, very drag. We're gonna tail it out real, real long and fill that in almost like we're doing a drag queen eyeliner. And for this, I was inspired by the 1959 Barbie doll, the original one where she has the black irises. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna fill in her irises with all black to make a nice cartoony, vintagey kind of feel. And then underneath the eye, I'm also gonna line under the eye and connect that to the end of the eye as well. And also a few black dots in the nostrils. Now it comes time for another fun part. For the contour, I'm gonna use my HD Pro Makeup Revolution palette. I got this for free with my Alexa Stone palette. So I'm gonna do my base contouring with this and then go in with some contour palettes from Gerard Cosmetics. And with a combination of the blush and the bronzer from the Starlet palette from Gerard Cosmetics, we're gonna really carve out the hollows of this mannequin's cheekbones bringing out her bone structure. Cause don't think bone structure is not important. 10 gay points to anyone who knows that reference. And with some water activated paints, I'm gonna create the base of our eyeshadow. I'm using a nice turquoise. And with a watercolor pencil, I fill it in with a turquoise pencil and then go in with a deeper pencil in the outer corners to shade it in. And then an even deeper pencil at the very top of it to cut the crease. And with a clean brush, I'm going to buff out all that product. The good thing about Mr. Super Clear is after you put this on, it actually creates a surface, like a canvas, where you can put on makeup and it looks so fabulous. However, it can get a little harsh, so be sure to have a clean brush and blend it out. And I'm just going to keep adding products in and out and just blushing it and buffing it out until it's exactly the way I want it to be. And with some tissue that I dampened even just the tiniest bit, I go over that makeup and blend it out. I do this very, very carefully because this step could actually ruin the whole thing. I do it very carefully and I just try and soften up that blush to make it look more blended and natural and not so hard on the face. Because we want Cheesecake Model. We don't want Tammy Faye Baker. And once she has properly buffed my liking, she is all done. Take a look at her. She's gorgeous. And lastly, one final coat of Mr. Super Clear to seal it all in. And be careful with this. Wear a mask that's so toxic. I do it outside. All right, and we're done. See you soon. <laughs> 
Here she is, Miss American Model, in a wig cap. Now she's wearing Sylvia Red from James Mansfield Beauty. Now she's wearing my Dolly Parton wig. Remember that? You should go watch that video. Or this Mansfield classic styled wig that's for sale on my website. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh my God, you guys. This is the final result. She is gorgeous. She is like a living cartoon. <laughs> the perfect wig head to display my kind of wigs on. Oh my goodness. I wanted to make a wig stand that has like a larger than life look, kind of like the wigs I create, and I feel like I've achieved it. Now this project is super, super easy to make and it's so cheap. This wig head I actually got for like $7 and all the paints and everything are like a dollar each from Walmart. Like the only thing that cost a little bit of money was the Mr. Super Clear, but I'm sure if you like went to websites that sell it, you probably could find some kind of deal, especially with Black Friday coming up and whatnot. Yeah, she is gorgeous. And it totally looks so great with this red hair. This is the Sylvia Red from James Mansfield Beauty, available in the description down below. Now, this wig is just missing one more thing. Well, actually, this wig is perfect, but this wig is missing just a little something. <gasps> the James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give myself a spritz. Move it, toots. Ah, now my hair smells just like cream soda, available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag. Thankfully, I have Manscaped. Just use my code Mansfield20 for 20% off your purchase. That includes free shipping. Have smooth skin just in time for Christmas time. Smooth all over. If you wanna play a prank on Santa, shave his beard off. <laughs> And a big shout out to Gerard Cosmetics. Now these bronzers and blushes work like a charm on our mannequin's face. And it also works on human faces too. I just so happen to be wearing Fire Engine by Gerard Cosmetics. Use my code James, J-A-Y-M-E-S for 30% off your purchase. Not including sale items or Black Friday items. But use my link in the description. What are you waiting for? Now, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you decide to do this for yourself, let me know and send me photos. I want to see what you come up with. You all are so creative. And until next time, bye. Bye. Did she just talk? Click here and see me style a vintage Dolly Parton goof proof wig. Or see me style a princess wig. Ooh, the royalty with my gluttony green from James Mansfield Beauty. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll lock you in Macy's overnight and let the mannequins reclaim you as their own. So click it.